My name is Nicole with So Much More. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I made my cat faces quilt. This is a whimsical art quilt that incorporates machine applique. I'll be sharing the design process, construction, and even some quilting using my Juki J350 long arm quilting machine. Visit my website to learn more about this machine and all the techniques used in this video. While you're watching, if you see something that you like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with a tutorial. The cat faces concept and process is an original idea in class by Melissa. I took a full day class with Melissa who is a wonderful instructor. Melissa had us make simple line drawings of cat faces. The second part of the process was cutting out the fabric and layering the different elements of the cat face. We initially used a washable glue stick, but later I added Misty Fuse to make the pieces more secure. Using a temporary adhesive, such as a glue stick, helped me decide how I wanted each cat face to look. As I mentioned earlier, I used my J350 long arm quilting machine to quilt this project. The 18 inch throat space gives me loads of room to move the quilt underneath a needle. Initially, I spent way too much time worrying about how I was going to quilt this project. In the end, I decided to leave the edges raw. My thinking is that because this is a wall hanging, I won't need to worry too much about the fabric frame. You may be wondering what the blue discs are that are in each hand. These are called grip and stitch quilting gloves. They're a wonderful alternative to quilting gloves, which can be hot and cumbersome. I have more information about this great product on my website. Because my quilting machine is situated against a wall, I sometimes have to fold my project in order to have a free range of motion for quilting. This quilting machine is truly wonderful, especially for smaller sewing spaces like mine. What's really nice is that the head of the machine is completely removable and can be attached to a quilting frame. I'm sure that when my kids are all grown and finished with college, I'll be able to take over one of their bedrooms. When I first started quilting the stripes on the cat face, I was trying to make a straight quilting line using just free motion quilting and it's not that easy. I wasn't very successful. I decided to switch to my ruler foot.
in conjunction with my ruler foot. I'm also using the Quilter Select ruler because it has a nice gripping surface on one side and doesn't slip, doesn't slip around like traditional quilting rulers. But when I install my ruler foot, I wanna make sure that my ruler won't pass underneath the foot. Using a ruler foot and a ruler takes some practice just like anything else, but quilting straight lines is so much easier with a ruler foot and a ruler. Switching back to the open toe foot, I added stitches to secure more of the cat face details. and I decided to do a simple meander quilting design for a majority of this cat face. Be sure to catch my next video where I show you some tips about binding. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. If you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. 
each week I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. For more tutorials, head over to my website and Facebook group, where there's always so much more in store.